Hi friends, welcome to my channel, VLSI Gyan. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So in this session, we are going to see how we can write a Verilog code for serial in serial out shift register. And we will also see how to execute that is synthesis and simulate the shift register using Vivado tool. So first of all, we'll see what is actually a register. So a register is a device which is used to store information. Friends, we have also discussed about the B flip flop in the earlier video that flip flop is a device which can store one bit of information. We have also seen in that video how we can write the Verilog code for D flip-flop and how we can uh, simulate and synthesize a D flip-flop using Vivado tool. If you want to check it again, please watch that video. I will provide the link of that video in the description box. So in this video, we will see what is a register. So as we know, register is also used for to store the information. Then what is the difference between a register and flip-flop? Friends, flip-flop is used to store only single bit of information, either zero or one. So if you want to store multiple bits, then you need multiple flip-flops. And these flip-flops together are called as registers. So in order to store multiple bits of data, we need multiple flip-flops. And flip-flops are connected in an order to store n bits of data. The register which will shift the bits to the left are called shift registers or left shift registers and the register which shift the data to the right are called right shift register. So basically shift registers are of two types, four types sorry. These are serial in, serial out, serial in, parallel out, parallel in, serial out, parallel in, parallel out. So in this session, we are going to see the first one that is serial in, serial out. What is the meaning of serial in, serial out? The data is entering serially, means one bit of the data is entering. And after that, another bit like that, a C data is entering serially and data is coming out of the register also serially. Here your register can be of any number of bits. So for simplicity, we will see how we can write a very low code for four bit shift register that is serial in, serial out. So as we know, flip flops, four flip flops are required because we are going to synthesize a four bit shift register, serial in, serial out shift register. So here four flip flops, we can see that the flip flops are connected in this serial manner that is the output of first flip-flop is connected to the input of the second one and the input of the second one is connected to the third and the input of the third is connected to the fourth. So we can see that the data is entering here serially, serial input. And the data coming out of this register is also serial data. And as for the example, we are taking four bits. So for four bit register, we'll store four bits. So it will require four flip flops because we know that each flip flop can store one bit of information. So what happens is you are providing the data to the first flip flop and this flip flop shares the information that is the information uh, stored in it is applied to the as an input to the next flip-flop and similarly to the next one and finally to the final one and you will get the output of at this register okay at this uh, flip-flop output is your final output and you can see that a same clock is applied to all the four flip-flops that is why it is called synchronous so these are the synchronous circuits. Synchronous circuits are those circuits where we apply the same clock, which work on the same clock. So here we can uh, once again uh, uh, 
summarize the things that we have taken four flip-flops for designing a four-bit shift register. Which type of the register we are just right now writing the code is a serial in, serial out. The data is entered serially and the data is coming out serially. The input, the serial input is applied to the first flip-flop and its output, suppose I'll call it as Q3. So its output Q3 is applied to the next flip-flop and its output Q2, suppose, is applied to the next one and its output Q1 is applied to Q0 and we assign Q0 to the serial output. So if I'll call serial input as SI, so SI is my serial input, which I'm going to assign to Q3 and Q3 I'm going to assign to Q2 and Q2 I'm going to assign to Q1 and Q1 to Q0 and finally I need to assign Q0 to S0 if my serial output is S0. So this is what we have to write in the Verilog code. So let us see how we can write the code in Verilog for uh, this shift register. So now let us see how to execute the shift register serial in serial out. So we will open Vivado, double click on Vivado icon on the desktop. And when that window get opens, you can see here we have create project, click on create project. Then we have to give the name of the project. See this uh, pop-up window appears. Click next. Write the project name. So I'm simply writing shift registers. Shift reg. Then location where we want to save that project. Click next. Select RTL project, create file. You can add here this, you can click on the create file and you can give the inputs output module definition or you can after creating the project also, you can add the file. So we'll uh, add after creating the project. So I'm simply clicking next. Here also I'm not adding any constraints as of now. So next. You can select any board. So click on board, select any one, any part is okay. So I'm just skipping this, click on, clicking on next. So this gives us the project summary. What are the things we have selected in the previous steps are all summarized here. Like the default board is that board part is selected and it is a zinc 7000 family product. And uh, we can see that the package is CLG 484, speed, is, speed grade is 1. Then click on finish. Uh, yes, so now we can see that the project is created with the name, project name is Shift Reg. Now we can click on the in this uh, source block, we can click on design sources and we can click on the plus symbol. So now it is asking for what you want to create, whether you want to create a constraint file, design file or the simulation sources. So I'm just clicking on the design sources because we need to write the very log code for serial in, serial out. So next. Then here again, the same place, uh, same page appears, which was there at the beginning. So create file. You can give the name of the module which you want to create. So I'm just writing it as serial in, serial out, shift reg. Click OK. Any other file if you want, you can add it. But as of now, we are working on a single Verilog file. So finish. Then it is asking for the inputs and outputs. So friends, we have seen in the diagram what are the inputs and what are the outputs of our shift register. From this diagram, you can clearly see that we have two inputs. One is a serial input and the other one is flop. And we have a single output that is serial output. 
the same we will enter over here. So we have an input SI, which is a serial input. And we have clock, which is also our input. So I'm taking clock. And then we have S0, which is our SO. I'll take SO, which is our serial output. So this is an output port. So two inputs and output. Then I'll click OK. See here it is showing updating in the source window. Now our Verilog file is created with the module name. Now when you double click on it, on the right side, you will find uh, the module definition that input SI clock is also mentioned and output S0. We need to write the code now. But friends, we have seen in the diagram, we have four shift register. We are designing a four shift 4-bit serial in serial out. So we have four flip-flops and the intermediate outputs are there like Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0. So that we need to mention here. So we will take the intermediate one. Reg. As we have four, so I'll define its size. 3 down to 0 Q. So how many uh, Q values will be generated? Like we have Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Okay. Then we can write the code. So always at the rate pause edge of the clock. In the sensitivity list, we are mentioning pause edge of the clock. Then begin. When we are writing begin, the same moment you should enter end. Otherwise, there are the chances of forgetting writing the end and it may throw a error. So from the diagram, we can see that SI, the serial input, is assigned to Q3. Q3 is assigned to Q2. Q2 is assigned to Q1 and Q1 to Q0. And finally, Q0 to S0. The same we are going to write it in the code that is Q of 3 is assigned SI means Q of SI value is assigned to Q3. So whatever the value of SI is there at the serial input that will be given to um, this one. Then we have Q2 is assigned Q3 then Q1 similarly Q1 is assigned Q2 the same shifting the data from input side to the output side then finally Q of 0 is assigned Q1. And right. So we have shifted the data. Next, finally, we have to assign the output S0, SO. the value of Q0. So Q0 value is assigned to S0. And this is our code. If there was any error, for example, if I forget to put this uh, semicolon, then you can see on the right side of the editor, it is showing red mark, which is indicating that there is an error in the code. Now I'll write the semicolon and you can see that there is no error. So Control S, save the project. Then we'll go for simulation. Okay. So for simulation, simulation sources, as we have written only one code, we can see that CISO shift register is the top module. Now on the left side, find that run simulation is there. Click on run behavioral simulation. 
So friends, we have two types of the simulation in the Bivado tool. One is before the synthesis and after the synthesis. So now which simulation we are running is before the synthesis. We have not gone to the synthesis part yet. We are just checking for the inputs and outputs, whether we are getting the correct output or not for the given input. Now we can see that we have uh, the inputs and the outputs and we have this graph on the right side of our, our screen. So click on clock, right click and you can give force clock. And here you can mention the leading edge as one and the trailing edge as zero and click OK. And also another input is a sign. So again, click on it, right click force constant and you can give any value. But see that it is a single bit. So we have to select binary. And suppose I'm giving it as one. So, okay. And then on the top of panel, you can see that we have run for 10 microseconds. So you can click on it and you can see the output. Right. Now you can simply change the data. And again, you can check whether you are getting the correct values or not. So again, I'll change it as to binary. Okay. Click. Now you can maximize this screen and you can see what output you are getting. So friends, you can see that when one second, let me zoom. See here, when we have applied one and we have a clock, so after one, two, three, after the fourth clock cycle, the value of one is updated to S0. So that value is shifted from Q3, Q2, Q0, and then it is assigned to um, S0. So that is why there is a delay of three clock cycles, which are the intermediate registers. So inter the value was folded in the intermediate registers and finally we'll get it. Similarly, when we change the value, that time also we can see the same thing. 